fact, Norman Woodstock's folding Bare Bones Network. Ha! Ah, this is the Bare Bones industry. This is the Bare Bones planet. We're down to Bare Bones. The currency systems are broke. All in receivership. We're in Bare Bones. This is Bare Bones Broadcasting, Norman Woodstock's folding. Good morning. I am a um, secret government project. Military project, born in 1945. They planted something in my mind. It operated along a lot when I was a child in surgery. They did something for the ether. <laughs> I think they put a message in the ether. And I've come back like V'ger. And here I am. I hope you like me. In fact, I hope you hate my guts. Huh? Because I find out all of you are madder and hell at each other and taking it out on each other. Well, I'm going to sick you on the creator of this globe. You're not going to... Take it out on each other ever again. Any issues here are the failure of the idiot that did it. And by God, you're going to turn your attention there with all your anger. <laughs> and now, from now on, every time you're mad, your maker shall appear and you're going to crack the thing in your mind. You're not going to take it out on a human being again. Especially teaching new ones how to do things and nothing. Never one of them can, can't get an F ever again. The greatest thing I ever had, I had a School teacher one tell me nobody fails here. I don't give anybody else. Nobody fails. I don't care if you do your homework. I don't care if you do anything. I'm going to pass you all. Like it? Everybody passes. Don't have to do anything you don't want. Now, if you want to learn something, hang out and I'll share something with you. Kind of like to serve with love. Greatest experience I ever had. Because I was so worried about failing. That's all I could think about. And they taught me I was a failure. I was a sinner. Let me tell you something. Anybody ever tells you you're a sinner... Picture your maker and crook alongside the head. What an idiot to give you an identity like that. What a creep. You're not a sinner. You're nothing wrong with you at all. But you're priceless. You're quite the opposite. You're a contribution to lovely and favor and happy and joy. That's what you are. Anybody ever told you anything else? They're scumbags. They're giving you a false identity yourself. They're scummy. They tell you anything wrong with a human being at all. They're scummy. There's nothing wrong with a human being. It's the rudder of a wonderful planet. It's all priceless here. Nothing yet priceless. It's all priceless. You're human. You're wonderful. You're just lovely mood to everything. Anybody telling you different? Scumbag! Got it? Keep that well in mind. There is no reason for anybody to hurt anybody here. To torment anyone. No reason to torment anyone. For any reason, shape, or form. Do you understand me? And more than your maker would tell you that, any human would tell you that. That's something humans tell each other. Got it? It's a very small planet, boy. Buoyant. Are you behaving buoyant? That's where the term boy is a nickname for buoyant. Are you buoyant? Dimwit? Because I'm going to tell you, you are. And if you ain't, we're going to figure out why not. Because that's all you do is buoyant. You're All you do is priceless and lovely and great mood. And when you're not doing it, we're going to figure out why. Because that's all you do. Do you understand me? When you're not living joy and glee... There's something wrong, because that's all you know. What idiot built it possible you couldn't? Huh? A dumb creator of a globe? A no, It had the ability... Get over here. It had the ability to build a cosmos of stars and planets? Huh? Cosmos of these? Stuffed in here? A little gem sitting on its desk? A Heath kit. Ha! Ah. Well, you ain't gonna take that, humans, are ya? You're not gonna live in misidentity, are ya? And let people shove it down your throat and torment ya? You're not gonna do that, are ya? We're gonna find out why if you think you are. There ain't no reason. To not stay mighty gleeful around here, is there? I'll be back. I'm the king of the Jews, the softest heart. Can you hear my soft heart panging? Because I'm a rage. I'm the reddest fanny sucker that ever walked. And you shall not have me take it out on you. I shall talk up to you, humanity, and get you a-going, and you shall identify yourselves as priceless, treat each other that way, and take it out on your maker if there's ever a temper tantrum problem. Do you understand me? Thus saith the Lord. Talking up to me and sending me to you. Move!